So I was gutted the other day. I went to cut the grass. Um, my old Hater Harrier 41, it wouldn't start. So I know absolutely nothing about engines or motors or anything like that. So I was looking down the barrel of getting someone to fix it. But I thought I'll do a few checks to see if it's any of them so I could get it going. So if yours isn't working, it might help you out to go through these steps just to see if, it, if it's a quick fix for you. So the first thing I'd done was check that there was fuel in it. So no petrol, no start. But there's petrol in there. I topped it up anyway. And it was fresh fuel. It wasn't old fuel. Next thing, I checked the oil level. And then if you look at that, there's plenty of oil in it, but not too much. So the next thing I checked was the spark plug lead. Was that connected properly? Because if that's off, it won't start. And that was on securely. So the next thing I had to check was the spark plug itself. So I've got a 21 millimeter socket. So it shouldn't be too tight. That's unlocked it. So they should come off fairly easily unless they're corroded on. So I looked and it's full of carbon. The gap in it is correct. Sometimes that gap needs opening up a little bit. But hopefully if I clean that, the lawnmower should start. So hopefully it's a quick and inexpensive fix. Well, say inexpensive, it shouldn't cost anything. So first of all, little old rag happens to be my daughter's sock and just give it a quick clean. Just clean out the threads any muck that's on it and then with a little soft wire brush just clean some of that carbon off it clean out all the threads hopefully it should start now as I said, I know next to nothing about engines and motors and I don't know why that got dirty. So if you can shed some light on it and tell me why they get dirty, is it something I'm doing wrong, is it just something that happens, then please leave me a comment in the section below. Uh, I'd like to learn more about it and find out why they get dirty. That looks clean enough now. So let's put it back in the lawnmower and hope that it starts. So just put it in finger tight and just give it a little touch with the socket. Then put the spark plug cable back on, make sure that's secure and let's see if she starts. Now although this is a, a very old lawnmower, it's a very good lawnmower and apparently the Briggs and Stratton engines go forever. So I'm hoping this is a quick fix and it'll be running for however many years to come. So let's see. There are a few primes. All right, fingers crossed. Perfect. So I'm well happy. It was a quick fix. It cost me nothing. It saved me taking it to someone who could fix it for me and they probably would have charged me a fortune. So brilliant. Just spent a little bit of time fault finding. Even for someone who knows nothing about engines and motors, I fixed it. So hopefully this will help you fix your lawnmower as well. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.